Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin, Texas Premier Polishing out of Lubbock, Texas. We got uh, something special for you guys today we've been working on with Zephyr. Finally got it nailed down, got them shipped to us, now we can finally share it with you guys. Uh, it's the high density nylon threads, or flanges that we've been working on for a long time. This one also has a new threaded plate. We filled in the gap, put some nice threads in them. These are also Kevlar reinforced. So we're gonna show you a little video, how to properly use them. You can mix match them. You can use them with the Zephyr's other aluminum flanges, but we'll just take a look here. Uh, this is one set up with strictly the nylon Kevlar flanges with the threaded top. This one here is also by Zephyr, it's the aluminum threaded top with the aluminum back. You can do like some of the guys do, they run an aluminum bottom and a top here. So it's really up to you, it's preference, but uh, we like these because they're a little bit safer when you get in tight spots and you were to bang or your, your pad pushes down and you were to bang your flange on there. It seems to work out a lot better. Uh, this is something that can cut out if it bumps against it, not at uh, the aluminum flanges. If it were to hit, it does leave a gouge and does require sanding. So it's just really preference what you're comfortable with. Some guys like the old school ones. It's just a new improvement to the old school ones. But either way you put it, Zephyr's got what you need. Appreciate it. All right, first we're going to start the one with the center plate in. Uh, this is mainly what everyone's using out there. Not your everyday polishing, but let's start with this. First you have a normal plate, then you have a threaded plate. If you have any type of spacer or 5 8 washer or work, you want to put that on the back to relieve the stress off of here. Put one face down. Now the reason why we say with the center plate in is because the centering plate is still inside the buff. Unlike this here, which is a 3 inch tapered edge that holds it if you were to punch it out. So this one here is first. We'll put this one on here, always stamped the sticker on top to show you which side goes up and the new one is made to lock in here so all you want to do is thread it on nice and smooth and you don't want to over tighten just give it a little snug till it stops and you're good to go now the next one is like I said the centerless so if you take this off you'll see there's no centering plate so what the best way and the most efficient way to do it is find the little tab here and then hit it on your handle one time it'll pop out. So take that, then you want to find your edge, see where the open part is, knowing that the wheel spins this way, you don't want any air here. So you know this is your upside. So you want to put that down, then you have the same way, this threads down, just a little stronger, maybe longer lasting, but uh, you have options at both. You have some of the guys that run both. So now you have a aluminum flange on the bottom, so now you need to pop out your plate, so you might as well just come over here, Use this pad, put it on top, then you can run one of the new Zephyr ones here. Or like some guys like a, a more low profile, they can run another one on top and run a nut inside that way it fits flush, but it's really up to you. They have everything you need, it's your preference. You can find it at ZephyrPro40.com. Hey guys, I know this seems simple and pretty basic, but look, it's gotta be, you gotta focus, look, because this is what everyone's doing out here. Look closely right here. This is how everyone has their grinder set up. There's a reason why they're called safety flanges and the reason why they're made. Look, if I can take this buff and pop it off like that, what, things ha what do you think happens when you get it off inside a wheel or get it inside of the edge of a tank or something? And this wheel pops off just like that and this saw blade's been it. I mean, nobody wants to lose a finger. And I'm just saying, safety's important, safety's key, safety's first. We appreciate it. You can find everything at ZephyrPro40.com. Take a look on our Instagram. Thank you, guys.